But we begin tonight with the Israeli troop buildup and this video put out tonight by Hamas showing that young hostage and her plea. ABC's Matt Gutman from Israel tonight. Tonight, just a few miles from the Gaza border, what was once a peaceful kibbutz, now a staging ground for war. Kibbutz Be'eri, where Hamas terrorists massacred at least 112 Israelis, now the front lines of the looming ground invasion. This is the dining hall where one of the worst massacres and hostage situations happened. It has now become a giant barracks. The entire floor area here is covered with sleeping mats and sleeping bags and troops. Soldiers gathering here just a short ride from the battlefield. Is Israel ready to go right now? Or are they just waiting for the order? We're ready. We're prepared. Their mission to root out Hamas and also to find the 199 hostages the terrorists spirited across the border. Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from one of them. Hamas releasing this video of 21-year-old Mia Shem, her family giving us permission to show these images. Taken from that dance party, we can see her arm wrapped in gauze. I'm on vacation. I just ask that you'll bring me home as soon as possible to my family, she says. To my parents, to my brothers, please get us out of here as soon as possible. It comes with hundreds of thousands of Gazans on the run tonight, trying to stay ahead of Israel's troops and its bombs. The numbers are staggering. More than 2,700 Gazans have already been killed. More than 3,700 residential buildings flattened. According to local authorities, 1,000 bodies believed buried beneath them. Dr. Ghassan Abu Sitta from Doctors Without Borders describing an apocalyptic scene. It's absolutely horrendous. The bodies are stacked up. People are too afraid to bury their dead. When you drive by one of the targeted buildings, there's the stench of decaying bodies. They no longer are able to take the bodies out from underneath the rubble. A million Palestinians have been warned to head south, away from the Israeli border. But they are trapped in a vice with nowhere to go. Gaza is just 25 miles long and 5 miles wide. Now the only possible way out is through the Rafah border crossing into Egypt. But those gates are now closed, even as thousands of Palestinians surge towards Rafah, hoping to escape. Now they are trapped with supplies rapidly dwindling. Israel has cut off all food, water, and power. When you wake up in the morning and you see your lives completely change, the day is, it's all of them the same, just waiting for the rocket to hit you. That's it. For Israel, this is the price of war retaliation for the brutal Hamas surprise attack that claimed more than 1,400 Israeli lives. Major General Yair Golan tells me when Israel invades, it won't be shock and awe. It'll be methodical, building by building, floor by floor, with an eye towards taking out the maze of tunnels Hamas has built below Gaza City. The minute you find, you know, uh, the gateway uh, or the exact location of a tunnel, then it becomes a trap mm. for Hamas. So, slowly, slowly, in a very deliberate manner, uh, we are going to beat them and kill them. And so let's bring in Matt Guppin with us live tonight from Tel Aviv. And Matt, that general telling you uh, hunting down Hamas will be a methodical operation. We know military experts uh, have been telling ABC News that this could be a very difficult and deadly, uh, at times face-to-face -face fight with Hamas once they're inside Gaza. That's right, David. And that general saying that in order for Israel to destroy Hamas, they have to destroy those tunnels. But finding them is going to be the hardest part. They'll likely be hidden behind trap doors, behind walls, likely booby trapped, which is why he says they have to go so slowly. And that fighting, we're told, will be in extremely close quarters, often floor by floor, room by room. David. Matt Guffman leading us off here from Tel Aviv tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.